I'm Batman. And I'm Joker. And we put our differences aside to celebrate Astonishing Studios approaching 9,000 supporters on LEGO Ideas. If the M&M's dispenser reaches 10,000 before September, it will be considered to be made into a real LEGO set. So, on behalf of Joker's obsession with M&M's and lack of opposable thumbs, support the project via the first link in the description. Welcome back to Astonishing Studios. Today, I reveal how to build working LEGO Batman and Joker boxing puppets. My friend, known on YouTube as Nipe Nipe, created the first version of the Joker, and I insisted we produce other puppets together, hence why we have Batman in front of us today. His collaboration video is linked below. So each puppet features a functioning jaw, functioning eyelids, rotating eyeballs, and my inner child's favorite, the ability to pack quite a punch with these boxing gloves. The heads and outfits are interchangeable from the standardized body, so let's start by making their tops first. Start with a 6x12 green plate. I just used a 6x8 and a 6x4 and split this up mentally in your brain into three sections of two studs wide. One, two, three. On the outer ones, we're going to cover it with a bunch of one by four and one by two lavender plates. And in the area we did not cover yet, you're going to put on six two by two plates with one stud. Now we need two wings with three studs on each, also in opposite directions and preferably in dark green to make the Joker's color. Let's put on his tie, which is just a three by one lavender curve. Put down four one by one round purple plates in the designated areas. Fill the gap between the purples with pink round plates and cover the rest of the uncovered lavender plates with one by six tiles. To learn how to build Batman's outfit and face, make sure to watch Nipe Nipe's tutorial in the upper right hand corner. So we have two wings facing opposite directions next to a 1x3 plate and both of them are unified together with a 1x2 white plate. On the outside of each glove we're going to put on a 1x2 brick topped with a 1x1 red plate. And on the inside of each glove, we're going to take an L brick and attach a one by two tile, just like so. Afterwards, we need a three by one red curve. And on the bottom of that should be two one by two red plates. And make sure to put those actually on the tips of the L's that are not covered in tile. Let's actually rotate this around. Actually, let's brush these aside for a moment and we're actually going to build part two of the gloves. So we will start with three one by two inverted red ramps. On top of them on the back side, connect them with a two by three plate and beneath that two by three plate on the uncovered studs, you're going to put on a one by three plate, preferably with not candle wax inside one of the studs, my bad. On top of each one, you are going to take three of these two by one curved red ramps and connect them with a two by three plate and you are going to put that right on top of here so the curved ramps are touching the inverted ramps. Let's bring back the previous parts of the box and gloves. We are going to unify each part by starting off with a two by three plate and on top of that, you're going to put on a two by two and one by two red tiles as well as a one by one and one by two black tiles. So we're going to make sure the tiles touch the curved ramps and then make sure the black tiles are also in line with the previous red tiles. As an optional accessory, you can build Joker's bow tie, which consists of two sets of opposing green wings, unified with a two x two round yellow tile, as well as a two x two round green plate. Now, if you have these two links from lego you can just make it with string of course but i like to keep it lego friendly you're going to intersect them and also put them on top of the center hole of the green round plate start with two one by six gray bricks with five holes in them and put two black connector pegs in each and rotate the bricks so the pegs face away from each other take two of this piece and put the first one here the second one here, 
so they're ultimately in between the pegs. Take a two by two red plate with connector peg room at the bottom and put in two light gray connector pegs and connect those to the top hole of the piece we just put on prior, or the pieces we just put on. Let's build this eight piece element. It's two two by two gray plates, two one by six gray plates, two one by two gray plates, and on the top we have two one by eight white plates. We're just going to wiggle that on. Build two of this part. It's a one by eight white brick topped with a one by one plate and a one by two tile, and put those on opposite sides and unify it in the back with a one by six white tile. Build this six piece element. It's a one by eight, one by six, and two by six red plate connected with two one by four red plates. On the back area here, we're going to put on a one by four red tile, followed by two of these opposing red wings. They're more like three dimensional wedges. Build two of this element. It's a one by two pink plate topped with a double teeth piece. To build the bottom of his jaw, take two two by two inverted white slopes, unified with a one by four white plate, and put it on so the inverted slopes face away from the teeth. Let's bring on our past part, rotate the studs of this red piece to face upwards, and we are going to put on the piece gently. And just make sure that this red piece doesn't get caught on this white tile, and I promise you it's not gonna be a problem in the real thing. Now you need a giant 15 stud long Technic beam, and put two gray connectors on the ends. And on one of those ends, you're going to put on this piece, which is a one by two plate in theory, but on top it's actually one stud and then one area to hold the connector peg. And you are going to wiggle this beneath the puppet's face. So we get this piece right on top of the one by eight plate. However, I'm just gonna take this off because it's gonna make the whole building process look a little bit lopsided. Then take a two by two inverted white slope as well as one by two inverted white slope and unify those with a two by three brick topped with a two by one inverted white slope. We're going to build another one of that, but the slope is actually gonna face in the opposite direction. So we're going to put those on right over here. Make sure we leave this white stud empty. And behind these inverted slopes, we're going to put on a one by two brick with a one by two plate and do that for both sides. Stack two red one by one bricks and on top of that put on a one by two red brick and do that for each side of Joker's lips. Now you need a two by eight white plate and on top of that a one by six black plate centered and put that on top so the tile faces outwards. Now you need two two by three white plates and on each of them you need a one by two dark gray tile. Put those on the other side of the two by eight plate. Then put a two by four plate on top of a four by four plate and beneath that you're going to put on four one by one round tan plates and make sure that these are on the opposite end of the two by four plate. We're going to wiggle this on so that the two by four plate is not covered in any studs. Now you need two four by one inverted red curves unified with a one by two plate and on top of either curve right at the tips you're going to put on a one by one plate and we are going to connect that to the underside of the gray tiles. On top of a one by six green plate, put on a one by six gray brick with five holes. And in the three center ones, you're going to put in three tan connector pegs that have one round side and one axle side. And on the axle side, you're going to put in three eight tooth gears so they intertwine perfectly. And then you're going to take two of this piece. So let me describe that to you. It's a, I think it's a three stud. Yeah, it's a three stud long axle with an eight tooth gear pushed as far as it can and on the studded tip, you're going to have one of Joker's eyes. You're going to put the first one on the left side and as you probably predicted, we're gonna put the other one on the right side. Let's put this on and suddenly Joker's coming to life. And from the back, put on a two by two round green brick. Technically the color doesn't matter because this is part of the mechanism and I took plates so you can improvise as you desire and then take six plates or two round two by two green bricks. We're going to put that over here. On top of two two by two white plates, put on a two by two brick and put that right between the round bricks. Then construct two of this part, which is a one by two plate topped with a two stud long beam, I guess you could say. And on top of that beam, we're going to put in a gray connector. So make sure they're facing outwards right on top of the curved bricks or round bricks. And let's move the face aside so we can build the eyelids. Start off the eyelids with this three piece element. It's a two by two plate and on the underside it has space for 
one connector peg. Then there's a two by three plate and on top of that a two by four plate. Then you need another of those two by two plates with space for a connector as well as another two by three plate. And that should all be unified with a two by six plate. And on top of that, we have two one by six white tiles. And we're not gonna connect these together just yet, but it's ideally going to sit like this so the holes line up. On the bigger part of the eyelid, we're going to put on a two by three plate. And on the bottom of that, we're going to have the piece with the space for the connector. And to build the eyelids, take a bracket piece with a one by two tile and a two by two tile on that and put those on either side. Put on the small eyelid over the left eye first and then the bigger part and make sure that that connects to the other eyelid via the tiles. Then take a one by four plate unified with a one by two plate via a one by six gray tile and put that on top of the gray brick and make sure to hold the underside so nothing crumbles. Construct two of this six piece assembly. It's a one by three, one by two on top of that, a one by four on top of that, a one by three on top of that, a two by one white inverted slope. And on top of the one by three brick, we have a one by two tile. Now take a three by two white slope on top of that, put on a one by two brick and a one by two plate. And on top of that, you're going to put on a two by two inverted slope on top of that, a two by two brick, and then a one by two plate. Then on top of a one by eight white plate, you're going to put on two one by four bricks. Also put two one by two bricks on top of the plate and on top of the two by fours or one by fours, silly me, you're going to put on two one by two white plates. And you are going to connect that right above the eyes. Then build two of this part. It's a one by one brick with a side stud and you're going to put in one of those Lego kinds that's common in Star Wars sets and you're going to need one of these garden like pieces. Put the first one over here for his eyebrow and the second one here. Then take a two by eight white plate and on top, put on two two by one white curves as well as two one by one white curves on the outside. Put that on right above the eyebrows. Then we need a two by three green brick topped with a two by one green slope as well as a one by one brick behind that. Build the opposite for the opposite side. Now you need a two by four green brick topped with two of these three by two curved slopes but with only one stud of curvature. And on top of either of those, you're going to put on a two by one green slope. Next, you need a green one by two brick topped with a two by four brick. And on the back side of that two by four brick, we have a one by two green brick. And then we have another one of those curves. Put that right in the center. And on top of this three by two green curve, you're going to put on another one of those two by two plates with a single stud. The geometry of Joker's hair is far different than what we see with traditional square Lego candy machine tutorials, so just be aware that this might be difficult, although I will do my best to guide you. So we're going to start off with a 2x2 two two inverted slope as well as a 1x2 inverted slope unified with a 1x3 plate. Then on top of that, you're going to need a 1x4 brick on top two 1x2 two green bricks and then a 2x1 inverted green slope. Make sure to build a duplicate for the opposing side. Then you need a two by four brick topped with two two by threes and then topped with a two by four and a two by three. And on top of that, put on a one by two and a two by four. Then you need a two by four green brick and on the bottom of that, six one by two green profile bricks. You can just use normal green bricks, but the profile adds flair to the hair. Put that on so that the profile is level with the inverted slopes. Take a one by four green brick and on top of that put on a two by four green brick. And on this side, we're going to put on three two by two green plates. And right on top of the first one, we're going to put on a one by two black brick with one hole. Then on top of both the two by four brick and the topmost two by two plate, we're going to put on two two by threes. On top of that, we're going to make a two by 10 plate with a two by six and a two by four. And then on the outside of those plates, we're going to put on a one by two green slope. All right, I was not gonna mess that up. And then we're gonna put that on. Now we need a seven stud long axle tipped off with a two by two round green brick and just wiggle that into the hole of the black brick. Build this four piece part. It's a two by four brick and a two by two brick. And in the upper right hand corner of the two by four brick, you're going to put on a one by one brick. And to unify the two by two and the two by four, you're going to put on a four by one curved piece, which is green. 
put that on here. I'm not going to put it on tightly just yet in case the geometry is off. And then stack two one by two green plates on top of that, put on a two by one green curved piece with one unoccupied stud. And on top of that unoccupied stud, you're going to put on a one by one cheese wedge Lego piece. Put that right here and you're going to build the opposite for this side. Then we have two two by four green bricks unified with a two by four green brick in the center and offset by one. And on top of that two by four green brick, we're going to put on a three by two green slope with a one by two area of curvature. We're going to gently turn around Joker's hair and put that on right over here. Now you need a four by four green plate and obviously we have four of these two by three bricks with the curve on it. We're not going to put that on just yet. In fact, we move this side and turn this upside down. You need a two by three brick on right next to that is a three by one green slope and unify those with a one by two brick. Obviously you're going to also build that flipped for the opposite side. And then we can turn this right side up, pull this guy back and we are gently going to assemble that and make sure that this green part is sitting flush with this brick and this brick and gently place that on. Great news, now it's time to bring back Joker's face and we're not going to put this on tightly, but we're just going to see how this assembles itself. So you are going to take a two by four green plate on top of that, put on four of these one by one cheese wedges, put on a two by two plate as you can see right here on top of that, put on two of those cheese wedges and on the tip of the two by two plate, you're going to put on a two by two plate, but that only has one stud on it. So you're going to put on right here, but let's loosely remove the hair. Let Joker's face casually topple over. Move this to the side, and then we're going to put on that Technic beam that I promised you earlier. So let's attach the white beams that let us control the puppet. So we're going to take this four piece element we built way early on. We're gonna wiggle this up and make sure that catches onto the one by eight red plate. Then you need another 15 stud long beam and on the second to last stud, you're going to put in one of these gray connector pegs. You're going to wiggle this up as well and to make sure that this is actually going to go into this hole. It seems like I'm able to do that fortunately. I thought I was a little tight. All right, and it's gently assembled on. And finally, as promised, you can put on Joker's hair and you can see that we actually lost the axle that was supposed to go into this black hole. You're going to put that back on and you're just going to rotate it until you feel it sink right into the other green two by two round plates or bricks. Give it a good look to make sure nothing is out of place. And that is Joker looking at us happily. Once you know how to build one half of Joker's body, the second half is the exact same, except all the pieces are reflected over the Y axis. So here we have a 15 stud long Technic beam. Then you're going to take a five stud long Technic beam with four black connector pegs, put it over here. You're going to take a long gray L, put in a three stud long connector peg that's tan, a black connector peg, and then a black connector peg with a rounded tip. Put it on over here. Then you're going to take another long L and you're going to put in two black connector pegs and a black connector peg with a rounded tip. You're going to put that over here. Let's move this aside for a moment. Then put down a nine stud long Technic beam. Take a short black L, put in two black connector pegs and then a three stud long axle. Put that over here. Then you're going to take a long gray L with two black connector pegs. You're going to put that over here. And then you're going to take a two stud long tube with the black connector peg and put that over here. Put down a small gray L piece with two black connector pegs, then take a long gray L with the three stud long blue connector peg and then a two stud long black connector peg. Connect that over here. We're gonna bring back the previous two parts and we are going to connect them in a very specific fashion. So let's start off with this piece. You're going to connect it over here. So there's one stud overhanging and then you're going to take this element and make sure the L points towards the right and clip it on like so. Let's move that aside. Put down a 15 stud long connector beam with a black connector peg and a rounded tip there. Then take a 13 stud long Technic beam and put in a gray connector peg and then a black connector peg with a rounded tip. You're going to put that right over here. Take a five stud long Technic beam, put in a gray connector peg and two black connector pegs. Put that over here. Take a seven stud long Technic beam, attach that. Then take this curved L gray piece and put in two black connector pegs and then a three stud long tan connector peg and you're going to attach this right over here, position it like so. 
bring back our previous part and we are going to put that on in a very specific fashion once again. Specifically, have that go through the axle and then have the tan piece go through the tip of the L. And let's move that aside once again. Put down a third 15 stud long Technic beam and take out a short black L with the black connector peg here, another one right over here, and then a three stud long blue connector beam right there. Put this near the top, take a three stud long Technic beam, put it over here. Take a big gray L piece and put in three black connector pegs right across the long side. You're going to put that right over here. Take an 11 stud long Technic beam and put in a three stud long blue connector peg as well as three black connector pegs and then you're going to put that over here. Bring back the part from earlier and you're going to assemble it right over here and make sure everything clicks in place. Position the two halves of the body so that the arms are facing furthest from us. And you're going to put six connector pegs through one of the 15 stud long Technic beams, just in whatever hole is unoccupied. Now you need a five stud long beam, and in the first hole you're going to put in a gray connector peg, and the third and fifth you're going to put in black connector pegs, and those third and fifth connector pegs are going to be connected to another five stud long connector peg, which means you're going to have two studs overhanging of the five stud long Technic beam, which should be occupied with black connector pegs. Now you're going to put the gray connector peg through the rotating L on the, what I would refer to now as the left side of the puppet. Then you need to construct this element. So start off with a two by four plate topped with a two by two brick, as well as two one by two bricks with axle holes. And in the middle of those axle holes, you're going to put in a four stud long axle. And you're gonna make sure the studs face outwards as you put that axle through an unoccupied hole of the short gray L. And before we actually fully assemble these two sides together, you're going to take the giant joker face and you're going to connect that right to these two holes. So that's where the two connector pegs are gonna go. And you're going to also make sure that the shorter, or by the way it looks, the shorter white beam is going to be connected to the two unoccupied black connector pegs attached to this gray L. So feel free to watch this twice if that's confusing. Now take the second half of the body and you can assemble that on. So make sure the white beam with its gray connector peg is connected to the swiveling gray L. Make sure that the long gray L is connected to Joker's face, as well as everything else snapping in properly, as well as the four stud long axle that's at the front. Now it's time to put on the elastic bands. You will need four and they will each go around the black connector pegs with the rounded tips. The first one's going to go on the arm. The second one's going to go on the second arm. And the last two are going to go near the back. Special note, make sure to push up one of the unoccupied arms to make space to put on the elastic band. And then put on the last elastic band when they're is enough space and obviously when you have no other elastic bands left so let's turn this guy around make sure he functions those eyes are working same with that mouth and same with those arms and speaking of arms we actually need to put on the hands so you're going to take what we built and we're actually going to have the technic holes sit on top of the lego studs take your optional bow and wrap it around joker's neck and make sure to connect the studs of it so the chain is totally unified, almost like a necklace. And then we're going to move the necklace slash bow tie out of the way, and we're going to put on Joker's outfit. Make sure that these four studs are connected to the outfit's back panel on this region. So notice how I leave a two stud clearance, so it's going to be on this stud, this stud, this stud, this stud, as well as the four studs on the other side. As long as it's centered, there shouldn't be much of a problem. Congratulations on building a working Lego Joker puppet. If you would like to build Batman besides the basic Technic body, I encourage you to check out his video linked down below. Also, huge thanks to him for inspiring this puppet idea in the first place. If you would also like to support my project on Lego Ideas for M&Ms, we're currently the second most supported project that has not yet reached 10,000 supporters. So what are you waiting for? Please, please, please support the project so it can reach 10K. Because if not, I might cry. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to email me or comment down below and I will see you guys with my future video.